This is Mike Joy with Fox NASCAR. You're watching the Checkered Flag Crew. We're here with Mike Joy from the NASCAR on Fox booth. First, Mike, I would like to ask you, how did your whole broadcasting career start? Um, how old are you? I'm 14. Okay, I was a little older than you. Not, not a whole lot. I was in college doing football and basketball play-by-play. -play, and on the weekends, I'd take my sports car and we'd go what we call pylon racing, autocrossing, one car against the clock. And because that was something you could do with your street car, you didn't need a specialized car. And we were um, one Sunday at Riverside Park Speedway in Massachusetts, and they said, hey, you're radio guy. Between runs, why don't you go up to the announce booth and go on the public address and tell people what's going on? I said, sure, I'd be glad to do that. So about <laughs> 3 o'clock that afternoon, the fiery Irishman that owned the place, Ed Carroll, he comes in the booth trying to figure out why all these people are sitting in the grandstand watching one car at a time go around the track instead of out in his amusement park spending money. Yeah. And they offered me a job doing the Saturday night short track races on the public address. Um, I turned them down flat because I was into Trans Am and Can Am, very, very sophisticated race cars. And to me, uh, these modifieds looked like old jalopies. So his PR guy said, would you come to Saturday night's race and check it out and see what it's like? I said, sure. It was awesome. 6,000 people in the stands, very fervent, very excited crowd, great wheel to wheel competition. I said, I got to be part of this. So I started the next week. So obviously there's a new voice in the ear for everybody in the TV today uh, for this year. Jeff Gordon joins you in the booth. How has that been working with Jeff this year? Oh God, it's awful. He's so young. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. Um, Jeff brings such a currency to our broadcast because he was just there and just raced for a championship mm -hmm. at Homestead in November. So he knows these cars inside out, uh, certainly knows the inner workings of Hendrick, and now is, is getting familiar with the people on all the other teams. But, but to have that kind of currency is something that, quite frankly, we've kind of been lacking. Mm -hmm. And now, the dynamic between he and Darrell, a lot of people think they argue like an old married couple, but, <laughs> but we're having fun. You know, yeah. yes, a lot of honest difference of opinion, but that's very good, very healthy. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you, Daryl, and Larry Mack hold the record for the longest three-man team in a booth. I think it's 15 years. Correct. What about you guys makes it such a good fit? I think first we started with a great mutual respect. Um, and our skill sets and experience were all different. I'd never been a crew chief, neither had Daryl. Larry would never driven a race car. Mm -hmm. None of them had either spent a whole season in a broadcast booth as I had done for years. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't argue about much. We could have differences of opinion, but we did not argue about how to do things or, or how the broadcast should flow. We were friends first, and that made it very, very easy to do a telecast that informed, educated, and entertained. Mm -hmm. Okay, so probably a very difficult question here. Out of all the NASCAR you've seen, which has been your favorite moment to call? You know, every race offers something different. I think this season, both with the lower downforce package, mm -hmm. the quality of racing, and the addition of Jeff Gordon, is probably going to end up being the most fun season uh, that I've ever had in, in nearly 40 years of doing this. But, you know, they're all fun. You know, we, we come to work every weekend, except we don't call it work. We're salaried tourists, and we get to come and play and have a lot of fun and, and do the job that, that a lot of folks uh, either hope to do someday or wish they could do. And the real challenge and the real fun of it is trying to make it look effortless. Mm -hmm. There are sometimes we've got a lot of things flying around, a lot of things coming at us at once, but I don't want you to know that at home. <laughs> I want it to just be sound like it's effortless so people will say, boy, your job looks so easy. And I go, yeah, isn't it? All right, well, Mike, thank you for the time. We'll definitely be enjoying the rest of the season with you up in the broadcast booth. All right, well, thank you, and uh, best of luck as you go forward in what looks like a very promising career here. Thanks. Thank you.